Hey everybody, happy Valentine's Day. Just a quick video from me this morning. I was having to think about um, how love and emotion can influence uh, house sales. Um, and it made me think about a conversation I often have with people when we're preparing to sell a house around different types of buyers. Like not all the buyers are the same, they're all motivated by different things and different objectives. Um, so I categorize it simply into, into three parts. Uh, you Firstly, you have your investor buyers. So these are the guys and girls that are motivated by uh, yields, returns, figures, they're looking for profit margins, they're trying to make money basically. It's a commercial buying decision. Um, they can be great buyers, they can often be really quick, uh, really fast transactions, um, but very rarely will, will the best of buyers pay you top market value for, for properties. Middle category I call logical buyers. And these are the most common ones. They, uh, they assess value by looking on right move, Zoopla, you know, what does the average sale price in your street look like? What have your neighbours sold for two years ago? Uh, what other houses are on the market? You know, it's all about logic, comparison, comparable evidence. And this is what most agents will do when they come into your house. You know, they'll, they'll look at what else is sold, what's been around, and therefore your house is worth X. Um, and that, that's normally your biggest pool of buyers in the marketplace, your logical buyers. And then the final category we have, and this pulls us back to our Valentine's Day theme, um, is our emotional buyers. So these are the guys and girls that walk into your house and go, oh my God, I love it, I've gotta have it. Like logic goes out the window, I don't care, I just want this house, this is the dream. Um, you know, the question they ask themselves is what have I gotta to pay to get it? And that kind of logical value numbers and then, and then you know, might go out the window a little bit. Um, so I guess the question you've got to ask yourself if you're on the market at the moment or perhaps you're thinking about going onto the market at some point, whether now or you know, a few years down the line, is, you know, does your home, does your house deserve that emotional buyer that's going to give you top value? Um, have a think, it's a conversation we have a lot. If you need any help with it, do give us a shout. And if you have any questions for me, do drop me a line. Andy at jamesneve.co.uk. Cheers.